Despite the way Robert treated him during his time as squire, Lancel, who has since abandoned his family name and joined the fanatical movement known as the Sparrows, is haunted by the part he played in Robert's death. He attempts to raise the subject with Cersei at Tywin's funeral but she feigns ignorance and brushes him off. Lancel later confesses to the High Sparrow, who has Cersei arrested. Kyburn later visits Cersei in her cell and informs her of the charges against her, including Robert's murder, which she continues to deny. Eventually, however, Cersei confesses to her relationship with Lancel to the High Sparrow, saying she was lonely and afraid. When reminded by the High Sparrow that she had a husband, she flippantly argues that Robert was off whoring every chance he got but the High Sparrow shuts her down by saying, his sins do not pardon your own. He inquires about the rumors that her children, including the current King Tommen, were not fathered by Robert. Despite his warning that speaking falsehoods before the gods is a great crime, Cersei continues to lie that her children were in fact fathered by Robert. Though the High Sparrow casts a rather suspicious glance towards Cersei, he relents but informs her that there will still be a trial to ascertain the truth behind the other charges that she continues to deny, including Robert's murder. While attempting to auction Jorah Mormont to slavers outside Marine, Malco mentions Robert's rebellion, where Jorah fought alongside Robert, and refers to Robert as the Stag King. In Winterfell, Sansa visits the crypts before her marriage to Ramsay Bolton and finds the feather that Robert had placed in the hands of Lyanna's statue years earlier, 